Kung sini nga pandemya, padayon nga mga bangon ang aton ekonomiya, kag kaupon man sini ang pagpanumbalik sang aton turismo. Welcome sa Historia Iloilo. During the quarantine period, the city was branded as the Wakanda of the Philippines. And in this new normal, another challenge for us is to maintain being one of the best destinations in the Philippines. And speaking of the best, rise and shine like a brightest star in the universe. Kay sini nga adlaw kaupod naton ang isa man nga makabig naton the best, not only in the Philippines, but who knows, in the whole universe. Please welcome our very own queen, the phenomenal woman. Miss Universe Philippines 2020, Miss Rabia Mateo. Rabia, welcome sa Historia Iloilo. Thank you for having me here, Sir Romel. How are you doing? Yes, I'm very much fun and I'm glad that you graced Historia Iloilo. Sige, um, Rabia, uh, since you will be representing the Philippines to the international pageant, how can you help promote Iloilo City to the global arena? Yes, Sir Romel, I, you know what, I've been talking to Sir Albert Andrada because I'm planning that during my national competition, I want to wear Dinagyang with me. I want to be a Dinagyang warrior and to show everybody all over the universe the creativity and, you know, the passion of the artists here in our province, in our city. And that's a promise that I made when I won Miss Iliilo. And I used to say that I really want to pledge in bringing Iloilo to the global community. Yes, and, and being named as the newest Dinagyang ambassador, yeah. you know, uh, we're very excited to see you bring Dinagyang to you know the global spotlight. I can't wait for every Filipino to experience Dinagyang. Sige. And Rabia, uh, we all know that one of the most affected sectors during the pandemic is the tourism sector. So, yes, as an ambassador, how can you help uh, Iloilo City restore its tourism? I'd like to believe that as of the moment, we are regaining our strength when it comes to tourism. And I'm very much excited to actually talk with Miss Universe Films Philippines organization because actually we are planning to hold the next Miss Universe Philippines here in the city of love. So let's see. I mean, it's going to be a big help. To our city's tourism and yes. I can't wait for them to experience the city of love yes. as well. Probably when all this is, is over. Yes. Right? Sige. Um, can you also tell us a brief background about your advocacy? I've been doing my lectures for physical therapy for three years already and I've been so much of an advocate of education because I had this humble beginnings and through education it transformed my life and I was able to bring food on my family's plate, I was able to do great things to other people, to my community. That's why I decided to work with Feed Me and I Read Your program together with Attorney Joboy Peña Florida and his wife Rhea Peña Florida. So we aim to help these children living in Kalahunan Dump site. Yes. And I can always see myself in them. I also experienced simple childhood, but whenever I see them, I realize that I had a lot of opportunities for me to experience the success, and I hope that these kids will have the same opportunity. That's why in Feed Me and I Read You program, what we do is that we conduct feeding programs once a week, and then at the same time, we have this learning session, this reading session to improve their learning capabilities. And I can't wait to go back to the community because as Miss Universe Philippines, I want to make the system better. And my promise is hopefully we're going to have feeding programs not just once a week, but every day. Sige. That was my goal. Sige. And with your advocacy, you know, I think it's safe to assume that you believe that Education is the only way for greater and bolder opportunities in life. That's true. Education and at the same time, right mindset. Uh, Rabia, I believe na everyone is excited for your Miss Universe journey. And uh, upon seeing your contenders no, online, who do you find no, the strongest among your contenders by far? Oh, yeah. I've actually watched some of their clips. 
And I can say that when it comes to communication skills, I love South Africa. Okay, South Africa. She's a woman of power and wisdom, and as of the moment, the Miss Universe organization is looking for that woman who can speak not just for herself, but for what is happening around yes, her. Yes. And I can't wait to meet each and every one of the candidates. Actually, we already have a group in WhatsApp, so we are already communicating Ayan. with Sige, each other. we're excited no, for the upcoming pageant. Uh, ano naman ang mensahe mo for your Ilonggo fans? Sa tanan nga Ilonggo, nga nagpalangga gid sa akin, even before I won Miss Universe Philippines, madamo gid nga salamat sa suporta, kag kamugid ang rason kung nga aari ko di subong nga point nga ni. And ubrahon ko gid ang best ko para makahatag liwat ng isa pa nga bugal sa syudad, sa paghigugma sa aton nga syudad. Kag palangga ko gid kamo tanan, please, please, please look after your physical and mental health kay mabato kita, mabatong ilo-ilo, kay warriors kita. Thank you very much, Rabia, for joining us. And in one sentence, can you tell us who Rabia Mateo is? I am Rabia Mateo, and I am a phenomenal woman with a heart of beauty. Thank you very much, Rabia, for you. joining us. Thank you very much, Rabia. Thank you, Paul. Antonia Designs. Kag amoyad to ang isa naman ka episode sang istorya ilo-ilo. Indeed, with our Ilonggo spirit, we can stand out in whatever endeavor we take. Madam, nga salamat sa pag-upod sa aton. This is your host. My name is Romel Favorada. Kag ini ang Istoria Ilo-ilo.